I've been farming on my own for 22 years. This is my 22nd crop. I farm part-time, but I grew up on a small farm south of here. And uh, so I've been, been around the farm all my life, but corn, rice, and soybeans are our staple crops. I've been working with NRCS since 1998, 99 time frame. The 2008 Farm Bill provided what I consider to be some opportunities for significant improvements, especially for socially disadvantaged farmers. So we started after 2008 Farm Bill, we started working pretty heavily with NRCS trying to make some improvements to bring our farms more on par with the potential of other farms in the area. I met Mr. Goldman when I first took over the position here in Jefferson County. Uh, Mr. Goldman, he was instrumental and very sustainable in his farming operation. Um, we met in the office one day and we kind of talked, kind of gained some common ground with each other. He was very, um, very sociable, very good to work with, and very knowledgeable um, about the NRCS program. So we kind of just hit it off really good. With the producer being knowledgeable, gives me an edge and gives them an edge as well in terms of conservation practices. Some of the practices that they come in the office and inquire about, Dr. Goldman has implemented a lot of those practices, um, like the tail water recovery pit. As a lot of people don't know, Jefferson County is in a what they call a groundwater decline area. They're having to drill deeper for a water well, so those individuals that come into our, into our office, they ask about these different practices and they pretty much know how they, they operate. The filter strips, water that leaves the land level fields, um, that tail water recovery pit is taking all that water from those fields and basically we're reusing that water with a via pumping plant and we're pumping it back onto the fields. And that water is, you know, a lot better than uh, groundwater. Um, it's filtered, it's not cold, um, and it's, it, saves, it saves a lot of money and it saves a lot of time um, when it comes to irrigating. Conservation and leaving this farm better than it was when I started operating it. But conservation is a key component of sustainability. When I take on the directive that I am going to leave this better than I found it year after year, conservation rises to the forefront. I realize the uniqueness, if you will, of Dale Cam Farm. I work, like I say, I'm, I work full-time for Bayer. I, I farm because I love it, uh, but it has provided an opportunity for me to talk about agriculture in some areas where normally I wouldn't. I often get a lot of questions about what's going on on the farm, because there's a lot of people that have association with the farm, but they're not out there today. And so just by having those conversations in the community, in the grocery store, I think allows us to put agriculture in a, in, a, in a more positive light. And there's a few of us that are in different positions in agriculture where we talk about the importance of agriculture to, to current students, telling them what we see as needs from an industry standpoint. And we also go back in and have an opportunity to talk in the classrooms and talk about those things, those kinds of skills, those kinds of trainings that are important. And, 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 and being, being able to interact with them, I think, again, helps keep agriculture in, in, in a more positive light. Over the years, uh, we've done a number of things that have called attention to the complexity and diversity of agriculture, both from a personal standpoint, but also just from the profession and all the stuff that's required to be successful in it. Several of the, the kids and the youth, they come up to me and ask me, you know, questions about some of the practice that Mr. Goldman has been implementing. And some kids even wanted to go to college and major in agriculture after visiting the field day. And I think that education, you know, to the youth is gonna be one of the things that keeps agriculture alive. Working with him and seeing the conservation that he's been implementing here in Jefferson County. For Mr. Goldman, it's not just about money or conversation. He genuinely loves conservation and he's doing everything that he can to fix not only his farms, but other people's farms. He's always looking to be better and be more sustainable. He's always looking to reach out to any minority black farmer or beginning farmer. He is very instrumental and educational in the community. Um, I wish everybody was easy to work with as, as Mr. Goldman. I'll tell you what drives me. I look at the little community I grew up in. The farmers were the heart of the community. They were key community leaders. 
They were the ones that was taking care of the old, taking care of the young, taking care of each other, and, and, and really a sense of, of community. In the 60s, there were three or four pretty good sized black families where farming was their bread and butter. And it really had, it made an indelible impact on me and eventually led me to pursue a career in agriculture.